recording? I just turned it on. What thing you find out about us? We are, uh, our expertise is clowning on motherfuckers. It ain't right. So hold on, let's get it started. Since we already saw, we already started a little bit on the last video and we was talking shit about your boy, the Gorilla Hebrew, Alize, because he was talking shit about the elders. Now, you ain't supposed to do that, okay? So you done fucked up, son. All right, he's talking shit about the elder Ricard. You done fucked up, man. The Lord's gonna fuck you up. That's why we said, you said you wanna be a rapper? You wanna be a famous rapper? Your ass just got signed to death row. So what you got? Everybody wanna be a rapper. You wanna be a superstar. What was you about to read? Uh, Ecclesiasticus 6 and 7. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. All right, because we was talking about earlier in the last video before it cut off, about how that dude, Alizé, he was uh, he was hanging out with Saad Netter, you know what I'm saying, being buddy-buddy with Saad Netter. Saad Netter gave him a nickname, the Gorilla Hebrew. And he here it is, that goddamn Satan gave him a nickname. He he took the name yeah, that Satan gave him. Yeah, man, he, he definitely did. He, Cause I seen a few of his clips, but when it come on, he has the name. Gorilla. Going, yeah. Going well, he across. he hyping it. Yeah, he he's hyping like, it. Yeah. He's like, but see, he gave me the name though. It ain't really nothing though. He just gave me the name though, cause you know what I'm saying. He, it was too hard to see my Hebrew name though. Yeah. He carried yeah. he carried that title for a while. Goddamn fool, man. He, he walked around with Satan's name that Satan gave him. <laughs> Ecclesiasticus chapter 6 he, he and 7. Jump, he gonna jump out the bushes on you. <laughs> if thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. For some for some man is a friend for his own occasion. Oh, that's your boy Sob Matter is only a friend for his own occasion. Okay? He, he, don't, he only got... He's not, he, that dude Sob Matter. He's only getting people on his little raggedy ass shows just so he can make money. And then the people that's getting on the shows just using Sonnetter so they can get famous. They're all using each other and backstabbing each other. You know what I mean? It's no different than the, uh, it's no different than how these bitches do it. How these motherfuckers in the hood do it. Keep going. And will not abide in the day of that trouble. All right, so when, yeah, right, when you getting fucked up, these people ain't gonna be nowhere to be found. <laughs> when your ass is locked up and shit, or you fucked up, they ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna be there for you. Then they had that one guy, he got locked up, what was his name? With a natural time hoodie or something. You talking about, you talking about a, the likes of teacher? Oh yeah, where, they ain't nobody helping his ass. And then, now I'm talking about somebody else. One, one of them, I, one of them Egyptologist motherfuckers got locked up in prison. Oh, the drug dealer. And ain't nobody help his ass. The drug dealer. Right, he, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't help you, man. Right. Yeah, the drug dealer. The motherfucker was an actual drug dealer, man. Out pushing on the streets, pushing black consciousness. Right, if you selling drugs, you deserve to be put to death. That's all there is to it. The Bible says, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. A witch is a drug dealer. Okay, someone who deals in pharmaceuticals, pharmacia. Okay, if you, you out here selling drugs, selling dope and shit, you deserve to be put to death, man. And actually, that's usually the punishment drug dealers get. Someone gonna rob you and put your ass to death. They gonna kill your ass, man, for a fucking, for an eight ball, or whatever you selling. You can get put to fucking death. And then we're gonna laugh at you. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna laugh at you. We're gonna praise the Lord. We're gonna sip some wine, we're gonna celebrate. I hate them motherfuckers, man. I hate them too. I hate a drug dealer, man. Especially the ones that's calling to call themselves Lord just in control. That's a that's one of the top reasons why you got all these women out here whoring. Mm -hmm. All these you can see all these fine ass, well they ain't fine no more, these crack hoes. You, you see these hoes be out here, man. I seen more hoes lately than I've ever seen in my whole life. I lived in the hood my whole life. And it meant there's like a, there's so many whores prostituting on the streets is ridiculous because they all out there because they need to get get that fix and get that dope you know what i'm saying they got to get them that dope get them rocks get their cocaine their hair now heroin's uh, big now 
Remember we had brought out an article uh, not too long ago about how heroin is on the rise. Ever since the United States been over there in Afghanistan, the heroin use has, has exploded. So here it is, so actually when you out here selling dope, you actually become a government agent. You know what I'm saying? Because who is, who is, you gotta manufacture that cocaine, okay? I don't know any Jakes up in their bedroom, up in their house, making cocaine and manufacturing cocaine or heroin. They ain't got no laboratory. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they estimate that shit to increase 3,000%. So it's the government, right. And you get you got uh, your your boy Rick Ross on Alex Jones. He done came out and told you it was the CIA was behind the whole dope game. He would know. And he would know. If, yeah, if he, anybody would know, he would know. Whatever they wanted to get yards. They even showed it in that movie Panther. Remember the old movie Panther that came yeah, out in the mid '90s? Yeah, yeah. They even put that in the movie. Yeah. They they flooded the neighborhoods with that shit. Right, right. So right. you doing the work of the devil when you become a drug dealer? You like literally a government agent. You know what I'm saying? Just like they had made another movie, Deep Cover. Because yep, the so-called yep. so Jew control Hollywood and part of their magic, their dark black magic, is they tell you everything in the movies that they're doing to mm. you. So it's like a joke to them. It's like, we're going to show these stupid motherfuckers yep. how we fucking them up in the movie and they still ain't going to do nothing about it. Yeah, their attitude is like, what the fuck they going to do anyway? And what y'all going to yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, you know? it's to that point What now. you going to do? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, exactly. Nothing. Couldn't even do Nothing. anything if they wanted to. Yeah. And y'all motherfuckers selling them selling drugs, you ain't making shit compared to what the white man's making off of it. They ain't making a goddamn thing. They're making a killing. Making a case. They said they see yeah, they making a case. Then you become a snitch. Just save your ass once you do get locked up, you become a snitch. So I bet your boy Alize done snitching on people too. But I you know what I'm saying? Ecclesi Ecclesiasticus 21 and 18 As is a house that is destroyed So is wisdom to a fool And the knowledge of the unwise Is a talk without sense A talk without Read that again That's what a talk without sense means Nonsense No sense Read that again Ecclesiasticus 21 and 18 as is a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool. And the knowledge of the unwise is a talk without sense. Mm, mm, mm. Doctrine right. unto fools is as fetters on the feet. <laughs> fetters on the feet. Oh, because your boy, your boy Alizé, the gorilla Hebrew, to him, he had a ball and chain hanging from his legs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what? That's exactly, that's my, that's my project I'm going to do this weekend. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go over my nephew's crib, man, and I'm just gonna record this motherfucker talking and have y'all listen to it. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna bug you out, man. It's gonna it's a definition of a fucking fool. It's his wisdom. Oh, his, no, wisdom. No, his wisdom. Huh? Cameron. Nah, my other nephew. Oh, okay. Another nephew. Another one. Yeah, nah, I ain't got know. no cousins. The only cousins I got, you don't wanna hear him. Mm. That motherfucker's crazy. I stay away from him. He try to shoot you. <laughs> uh, hey, tell him about our cousin. He's crazy, ain't he, Scotty? Oh, he might not be crazy no more. <laughs> huh? I just know why you said you going to shoot Johnny's van up to make it look like Swiss cheese. Yeah. What? Hey. Arguing about a football game? But I used to live my cousin, man. He was nuts. <laughs> When he was kids, he was nuts. He used to torture people. He used to torture all the neighborhood kids. He made a homemade electric chair. Put he, he tried to hang. Yeah, he tried to hang him. He put his own sister in a homemade electric chair, try to kill her. He used to cut their heads off of barbie Yeah, he had cabbage patch kid dog. He had chopped their heads off, hang him out the window. He was nuts, man. He went to jail for killing somebody. And he brag about it. Like, who else you know? That... He always brag. Look at that goddamn blood. He like, who else you know? Brought a knife to a gunfight and won. Oh, <laughs> dude's nuts, man. I ain't fucking with him. Sounds like a piece of shit. Oh, oh, yeah, he's a character. That's all I can say. 
one day he was talking about he rolled into religion. Next time I seen him, he's a Freemason. Oh, uh, he was a Freemason? <laughs> but he was looking for a job. <laughs> he ain't saying he was a Freemason. Yeah, he should have had a Freemason ring on. Man, they sell free they sell Freemason rings and pennants at the flea market. Anybody can buy that shit. Yeah, he, he dabbled with many wands, those different wands. Well, I oh, no, one time he tried to get me to join the KKK. He took me to the <laughs> website. Like, it's only $30 to get you a robe. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker's crazy. I used to have the hotline number you can call and leave messages and shit. Who, the KKK? Mm, they used to have a hotline here in court. I mean, I've seen a video on YouTube, saw a black dude called a KKK. And he, he, he had him thinking that he was going to join, that he was white. He, he talked to him on the phone for a minute, was, became good friends with him. <laughs> it is funny. They was on my computer and he typed in something with the K and all these Coop Cooks Clan related searches came up and he was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> he got scared. I was like, man, that was Scotty. So uh, Scotty, Scotty talked to me and like, man, I'll do the research paper with my sister. He was nuts, man. Ooh. Everybody got crazy ass family like that, man. You know what I'm saying? We all got the crazy ass cousin. Everybody got the child molesting the uncle. <laughs> Chuck. Who's Chuck? Oh, that's on, that's on, that's one of the Mexican motherfuckers. Oh, you ain't Mexican? What? You know, we got Mexican family. I do. I kind of remember Chuck. Oh well, we'll, we'll get back on track. We'll Talk about crazy ass family. <laughs> Ecclesiasticus 20, 21 and nineteen. Doctrine unto fools is as fetters on the feet and like manacles on the right hand. A fool lifted up his voice with laughter. A fool lifted up his voice with laughter. That's, well, what are they? Y'all are just laughing. Y'all fools. That's talking about one of these assholes out here. That's all they do is. <laughs> what they call it, smoking, joking. Okay. All they talk about all day is foolish ass shit. They not, because usually the only time I ever get a laugh is when we come out here. You know what I mean? Most of my, most of my days are spent in sorrow. Oh, there we go. Uh, but a wise man doth scarce smile a little. Right, so the only time I ever get a chance to smile is when we hanging out with brothers teaching. Usually you you just catching hell, man. This is the only glimpse of the ray of light that you get. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time we just in darkness. A goddamn uh, living a nightmare. Real man. Motherfuckers have no idea. I embrace it though. But we have a good time clowning on you fools, you know what I'm saying? Cause they got a lot of these fools. The only thing they do, they, they don't watch, they don't care about any kind of knowledge. They always want to watch some uh, comedy movies. That's like some of the popular movies be the comedies. I mean, you know, since I came into the truth, I've scarcely watched a comedy movie. I can't, this shit ain't, this shit ain't funny to me, man. I don't want to see that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't give a fuck about your stand up. None of that shit. If I watch a movie, it's going to be like uh, battles or something, a historical film. You know what I'm saying? Is there more to that? Cause you know how these bitches do. You can get get with a woman. She want to go to the movies, watch a comedy. A bitch ain't gonna go watch the uh, the Exodus with you. Or well, you said that was garbage. I ain't seen it yet. But you know what I'm saying? A woman ain't gonna go want to see the same movie as you. You ain't gonna get a woman to watch The Good Shepherd with you. You know what I mean? No. Or watch a documentary. Or watch a history lecture. You definitely ain't gonna find a woman that's gonna sit down and watch a history lecture with you on YouTube. Anything she, edifying. Anything edifying, she, 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 but she'll watch that com <laughs> that yeah. romantic comedy with you. She'll watch that, you know what I mean? That's a fact. Oh, this bitch last night, she was talking about, she uh, used to be out there and go to bars and she was like trying to get with men and. Like, she wasn't just trying to find a boyfriend. She wanted somebody with a nice car and money. So she just put herself out there as a home. Yeah, I mean, that's how old women are, though. And she just verified it. Well, we heard of work. They, they always bring out all their secrets of work. I, yeah, you, you, you could be working with these hoes in, like, these restaurants. All them bitches are hoes, man. 
All these women are hoes, period. And Solomon said that among a thousand women, he couldn't find one righteous woman. Yeah. They're all hoes, bitches and hoes. I ain't give none of these hoes praise, man. No. That's how, that's how I look at them. I look at them just like a piece of flesh. What else are they? Mm. They ain't got no, like you said, they, like they don't, bitch, bitch don't want to do nothing that you want to do, like I said. No. Mm -hmm. Nothing that Wouldn't you like to have a woman that will watch some history or watch yeah, a lecture yeah. with you? But you dreaming, you dreaming, you in fantasy land. That's not going to happen. Come on, I'm my baby girl. She's gonna study with me. Right. We're gonna study the scriptures together. That's why I went to Paraza. We was hanging out with Paraza. We went to his church. He had a Bible study. We was up in his Bible study. He had all kind of women up in there studying. They had their Bible open, taking notes. I'm like, what the hell is this shit? Decoration, all that, all that is for decoration. Oh, that bitch was cool. I get, I get her props, even though she was still out of order. She, had, she was still out of order. <laughs> yeah, she, she didn't come up against the truth. Yeah, she was, he's like my ain't none of these women in order. They all out of order. Okay, every last one of them. Even the ones that claim they in the truth, they not in the truth. Yeah, I said it. Well, where the fuck they at? Yeah, where the? Well, yeah. <laughs> Why aren't they out teaching? Yeah, why ain't they helping us out? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Making garments for you, giving yeah. you money, yeah. taking care of us, buying us cameras, anything to help. They ain't gonna do that, man. Because it's the women that got all the good jobs anyway. Men ain't got no fucking jobs. You'd be lucky if you get a good job, man. Only people, now you got all these heathens coming in, taking a little bit of jobs that was left. Every last taxi driver is a goddamn African. All the corner stores are owned by Muslims. All the small businesses are owned by Africans, Muslims, and Hindus. None of our people have any kind of businesses. Right. This fuck, the whole goddamn country has been overran by heathens. And it's all by design. To keep you down. Heathen nation. Well, I mean, they, they was invited here. You know what I'm saying? And they're complaining about the, uh, the so-called Mexicans. Everybody want to complain about Mexicans. But those are our people. What you need to worry about is the goddamn Hindus and the goddamn Muslims. That's what your ass should worry And the goddamn Edomites. The so-called Jew. The biggest piece of shit on the planet. That's what you really should have worried about. <laughs> yeah, nobody likes Somalians, but they keep bringing them here. Well, we're not the ones bringing them here. Who's the ones bringing them over here? Can I ask y'all a question? Do y'all like Somalians? Yeah. Can't find a reason not to. Of course you're gonna say that. He's lying. He had to think about it. It was that was a, that was, that was an unsure answer. He's like, yeah, I like people. Well, yeah, some of them Somalians are Israelites. Oh, you can't even scripture we better bring out. Oh shit. <laughs> Get back on your boy. Let's fuck with, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? That's a bitch's drink. It's like your boy is menstruating all over YouTube with those videos he made. We'll say he's ragging. All oh, these shut out niggas I feel out shit like me. They're bunk gangster shit and get it how they live like me. What's how I'm soldier shit? I'm chilling. I ain't playing for it. Uh, play, uh, I said play that. Night. Yeah, play that. <laughs> Ecclesiastic is eight and eight. And eight. Despise not the discourage of the wise. I read that again. Read it loud so overpower him. Ecclesiastic is eight and eight. Despise not the discourage of the discourse of the wise. Yeah, despise not the discourse of the wise. Okay, so the elders, you know, say a great milk, the apostles are great milk, so those are the wise men. You ain't supposed to despise their discourse, like when they correct you. Keep going. 
despise not the discourse of the wise, but acquaint, 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 acquaint thyself with their proverbs. Acquaint thyself with their proverbs. Right, just like what we're saying. Everything we teach you, you're supposed to acquaint yourself with these sayings right here, this wisdom we're speaking. You know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to acquaint yourself with uh, with a rapper talking about, I'm gonna be a rapper. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I got my mixtape out, son. Don't nobody wanna hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody wanna hear your raps. This shit's garbage. Uh, read that again, or just keep going. Where you was at? For of them thou shalt learn instruction. Yeah, for the for the men of the Lord is you're gonna learn instruction. You're gonna learn wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Open up, keep going. And how to serve great men with ease. How to serve, how to serve. See, we're supposed, we're servants. We're servants. You're not supposed to strive to be a ruler. You want to be a servant, you serve your brother. You want to serve other great men. Even Paul said that he was a servant, didn't he? Miss not the discourse of the elders. Oh yeah, don't miss, hey, read that again. Ecclesiasticus 8 and 9, miss not the discourse of the elders, for they also learn of their fathers, and of them thou shalt learn understanding, and to give answer as need requireth. Kindle not the coals of the sinner, lest thou be burnt with the flame of his fire. Oh, that, that's what you were saying earlier about hanging out with a two-third. That might just be that day. The Lord do him in and you win them. Hey, kicking them with two-thirds? Like that dude right there, he was sitting on a corner rapping. Well, he wasn't even, he was half talking, half rapping. He said that he was gutter. <laughs> and he wasn't lying, he was being honest. He really is gutter, he's in the gutter. Kindle not the coals of a sinner, lest thou be burnt with the flame of his fire. Rise not up in anger at the presence of the injurious person, lest he lie in wait to entrap thee in thy words. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, some people there, they try to trap you up with your words. That's the point I wanted to get that you're supposed to listen to the elders, the, the people who know a lot more than you. Yeah, you're supposed to be coming up against them, talking shit to them. You know what I'm saying? It's like dis disrespecting your father. It's like when I'm sitting down teaching my son how to do math, teaching him what uh, three squared equals, and he gonna buck up against me. It's like, Dad, that three squared equals two. I'm like, no, motherfucker. No, we don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, smack his ass. Now do it right. First Timothy five and one. Rebuke not an elder. Yeah, that's that's plain, man. E even if even if you think that you're right, you still don't do that. That's retarded. Yeah, keep your fucking mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. You Most know? I would deal with it. Yeah, that's a, that's a carnal ass motherfucking mind, man. If I got cursed out by an elder, you don't take that ass. I just, just like you should. Nah, I just take it, man. Yeah, you know, take it like you should. Rebuke yeah. not an elder, but entreat him as a father and the younger men as brethren. I see a problem. Maybe I had a problem too when I was. When you first started teaching, you started learning the truth. You think you know everything. Oh, I'm a, God damn, I know all kind of shit. And then you start thinking you know more than everybody. But this, this ain't a contest to see who knows the most, okay? Because what, what it is, it's all about faith. Stand, stand, in, one, stand in the court. That's everybody's problem is they want to be the deepest teacher on the planet. They have the deepest, most bugged out knowledge possible. And it's really not about that. I mean, it's cool to go deep and get deep. This ain't nothing about this truth deep. It's all simple. Well, right, basic, the Lord said the, the truth is simple. Yeah. He said that the truth is simple. It is. It's, 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 it's basic as hell. That, that's you what, know, I mean. That's my thing. Right. Well, not my thing. It, it's the, the Lord's thing is he said it's the, the truth is simple. We're going to find that scripture. You know where that's at? I haven't brought that out. Look it up. Um, I know where it's at. This, there's a simplicity that's in your Shah. That's what it, it says, the simplicity. That's, you know what I'm saying? So you're supposed to stay on the basics. Because the basics, we can go super deep and what that is, you know what I'm saying? People always want to talk about some bugged out shit, man. They, they want to stay on some bugged out shit instead of sticking with the basics.
simplicity is in Christ. That's in, I'm, I'm trying to hold, I got it. I know where it says. I think it's in Colossians, is it? What you, do you have something you want to bring out? No, I was looking for that scripture. There's one scripture in there. Because there's one that come to mind. Um, about how this truth is uh, pretty much common sense. Start teaching about some bugged out shit. I think they got all the mysteries and all the knowledge. But check this out. But say, say I didn't know something that an elder didn't know. Wow, I knew one thing he didn't know. The elder probably knows 5,000 things that I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But right here, we all know different stuff. He knows scriptures I don't know. He knows, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't, doesn't mean I can get to curse somebody out because I know one thing they didn't know. You know how stupid that is? How simple, how, how retarded that is? That's why I hate, that's why I hate two thirds, man. Motherfuckers always get puffed up. There's nothing worse than a puffed up prophet. Alright, let me get this out real quick, short and simple. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes 7 and 5. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise then for how does it go? Then for a man to hear the song of fools. So it's actually good if you're getting checked by a wise man to help us. They can recognize you can learn off that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, because because people always think they didn't know every goddamn thing. But I don't know everything. I'm always eager to learn. I always want to learn new stuff, you know what I'm saying? Ecclesiastes 7 and 5. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the songs of fools. That's the song. Your boy Saw Netter got the song of fools. Poli got the song of fools. <laughs> uh, then you go, David Ike definitely got the song of fools. <laughs> Alex Jones singing the song of fools. Uh, who else? All these fucking faggots on YouTube, man. And now your boy uh, Gorilla Alize, he's singing the song, the song of fools. That's a terrible song too. It got no kind of melody. It sounds like one of those garbage mixtapes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one of them hood mixtape, the mic levels all off and shit. You know how the, the, like the mic's way louder yeah, muffle, than the, yeah, you know, yeah, muffle. muffling like hell. The shit's clipping. <laughs> <laughs> That shit with the talk boy. Oh, they recorded. Yeah, they recorded that shit with they. Uh, they said talk boy. That's the, <laughs> that's that Home Alone shit. That's the. Uh, Damn talk boy. Damn. I that. They recorded that shit with a cell phone. Yeah, we got long talk right there. Psalms, Psalms 119 and 115. Depart from me, ye evil doors, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according unto thy word, that I may live and let me not be ashamed of my hope. Hold thou me up, and I shall be safe, and I will have respect unto thy statutes continually. Yeah, have respect unto the statutes. The statutes said, honor thy father and thy mother. Especially your, uh, your spiritual father. Keep going. Thou hast trodden down all of them that err from thy statutes. They said they have trodden down all those that erred. It was an error. For their deceit and falsehood. Deceit and falsehood. 
So yeah, so Gorilla Hebrew, your ass is false. You're gonna get trodden down in the in the mire of the street. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna read this. I hope I have it uh, read out right. Thou puttest away all that wicked of the earth like draws. Like draws. D O D R O S S. Yeah, draws is that. We were talking about that last week, I think. That's when you know when certain metal starts getting all corroded and shit. Oh, okay. Like uh, when silver starts getting all corroded, that nasty shit starts forming on like the Statue of Liberty. Oh, okay, yeah. But eventually, just eat away at it. Oh, pretty much that. Oh, I got something. I got something. I got something. Second Corinthians 11 and 1. Would to God, to God, ye could hear me a little in my folly and indeed bear with me. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Yahweh Shai. But I fear. So that, that's why that's why people get mad too when somebody falls out the truth or somebody starts going off teaching bullshit. That makes you angry, especially if you's the one that taught somebody. Yeah, that guy kind of that's like if a bitch cheats on you. You ever have a bitch cheat on you? That's a dirty feeling. Well, so you have somebody that you done taught, spent all kind of effort teaching their ass, and then they're gonna go run off and start following somebody else. And and they go a whore, you know what I mean? It's the total opposite. That's why we try to prepare people as a chaste version. Oh, this also cuts that uh, that doctrine people read in Revelation, where it says the only people that's going to be in the kingdom is virgins. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a spiritual virgin. Because spiritually, we're virgins. It's not talking about actual virgins. Because that would be gay. It's actually the word virgin, and it's just young woman. Well, right. That's a good the point. Definition. Yeah, right. You yeah. don't hear men be called virgins, do you? Right, yeah. That's just a young woman. So, yeah, because Israel's likened unto a, a calmly, a beautiful, delicate woman. You know what I mean? But now Israel become a whore. So, we, the Lord ain't looking for whores and harlots. That's why we're supposed to, like this says right here. It says, for I am jealous, jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste version that Yahweh shy. But I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Yahweh shy. So what is that talking about? That's like your boy Alize, he got caught up by the serpent. Your boy Saad Netter came up by the, that tongue coming out. Your boy slipped it up there. Got what's up, homie? What's up, gorilla? <laughs> right. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Gave him the name and like, everything. What, what, what could they? What could they talk about? They both got different. You I know could, what I'm saying? Could. Thought process. And the hell with, with, well, they must. They must about. have similar thought processes. Actually. Yeah, yeah. They must be similar. Two. What's that saying? Two birds fly. I don't care. I fuck yeah. all the sayings up. Two birds fly. Uh, two peas in a pod. Yeah, you know? two peas in a pod. There you go. <laughs> They two peas in a pie, boy. They like peanut butter and jelly. Oh, here we go. Uh, Psalms 118 and 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Oh, put confidence in man. Yeah, the hell is what these men is thinking. Because what a man trusts after the flesh. You know what I mean? It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. That's a good one. Yeah, your boy, um, Gorilla Faggot, that motherfucker got a hidden motive, though. Well, he oh, want to yeah, be the that, leader, though. You know, he yeah. want to be a leader. He got a hidden motive. He, a, he got a hidden motive. Mm -hmm. he, he wants to be a superstar, hot shot, be a leader. Yeah. You know or he's probably just trying to get paid. Or trying to get paid. Yeah. How did, trust me, look, check this out. You're not going to get paid doing this shit, okay? You're in the wrong business. I can tell you right now. Even Nathaniel, he can't be making. Maybe Nathaniel is getting paid. I don't know. You think he's getting paid? Hell yeah. He making big bank. 
Yeah, well, Matt, well, maybe the you guy could... opened up a school in North Carolina. Well, yeah. He had a commercial, like. Yeah, yeah. you see that? Yeah, you, yeah. I see he had a commercial. Mm -hmm. like, come on. But your boy ain't as smooth as um, Nathaniel, though. He's too goddamn ghetto, so you ain't getting paid. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. He a nigga. Yeah. You too, you too he's greasy. He's a young nigga. So he is just he's a too... young nigga. Yeah, yeah, young. He's a young punk. Yeah, so your boy Nathaniel got that hustle down. You, if you better, you better learn after Nathaniel. You better go trim your beard up. <laughs> Line your shit up. Line your shit up. You know what I'm saying? Then you might get paid, son. Turn it up. So this thing ain't about getting paid. It ain't about getting money. You don't fuck about no goddamn money. You know what I'm saying? It's just all gonna be destroyed anyway. What you gonna do with money? Your gold and silver is can't. But fame don't mean shit either. Like the hell? Yeah, yeah, this world's gold, yeah, like you said, this gold is even corrupt. Yeah, even the gold's corrupt. You know? Like the elder said too, fame. Fame don't mean shit. You know what I mean? The, the elders brought out that fame comes from the word famished. So I didn't know that before they said it. I learned something from it. You know what I'm saying? Fame means famished. What else is it? Uh, famine. You forget the word famine. Famished. You hungry, you got nothing to eat. <laughs> With all these famous people, they got an empty feeling inside. Mm. It's thicker than a motherfucker. She ain't famous. Look at that. Look at that ass. Look at that ass. So what? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> they got a good spirit. Look at that <laughs> Are they walking in public? <laughs> Hey, I'm public. Anybody out in public is fair game. She got that tight shit on. Expect nobody Man, to wear some tight ass pants. She get mad when somebody says something. <laughs> Are they trying to make that a crime now? Just if you look at a woman here, that she's naked. With Esau with her. Esau's a faggot, man. He ain't looking at that fat oh, ass. Yeah, he ain't looking at that ass. That dude's a he is a homosexual. <laughs> That's funny. That's wild, man. She said, could you please respect me? She probably called the cops on us. We're gonna have to dip up out of here. That's like, no, I'm just joking. No, I'm joking. Yeah, we don't give a fuck about the police. We don't give a fuck about no cops. Cops don't give a fuck about us. They roll by every day, don't they? Hey, they now the cops are scared to fuck with anybody. They're scared they're gonna get shot. <laughs> They, uh, they, you know what I'm saying? Then they say over there in New York, the cops they've been stopped. They they stopped arresting people because they're scared. Yeah, <laughs> right. Because people, you got like you said over on the south side, people just start busting at cops, man. Cops just getting shot at daily. You know, today people now they just shooting at the cops for fun now. It's for target practice. Just see if their guns work. Will you please respect me? <laughs> <laughs> what you got? You got something you wanted to bring out? Savor that shit. Man, we don't respect none of these people. Yeah, that's man. The we got no respect for none of these. Oh, that's another thing too. And your boy, the gorilla Hebrew, we this is. He was up there with Polite. Polite fucked his ass up. Get Deuteronomy 22. I know every brother on YouTube done made a video on. We gonna make another one. Cause he was up there. You know what I'm saying, man, he has no ways to be in a congregation of fools, man. Wait. He was debating with Polite. Like, he tried to say Deuteronomy 22 was not talking about rape and forcing yourself on a woman. That's exactly what it was talking about. And Polite like, brought it out. He looked it up in the Blue Letter Bible. <laughs> he looked it up in the Hebrew and, and proved uh, uh, Alizé wrong. Oh, wow. And and was you about to get that Deuteronomy 22? And uh, but like, I thought he ain't, he don't deal with none of this. What is he doing looking up words in Hebrew? The people are full of shit. That's because the uh, that's because the apostles don't fuck with his ass. They all open his mind. See, po see, the apostles is inside of Polite's mind and brain. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't escape the spirit. Once we hit you with those scriptures and hit you with the truth and prove you're wrong so many times. 
the spirits all up inside of you fucking with you. You having dreams and shit. You having nightmares, you tossing and turning. You up in the middle of the night. You know what I'm saying? Most high fucking with you, giving you nightmares. You seeing visions and shit. You can't escape the spirits. And I notice now, I don't see too many uh, debates on like that. Like how I used to. I don't, I don't even, that's just garbage, man. I don't be watching them, them debates be long as hell, too. Yeah, and they be with, um... I'm watching that long ass shit. And only, uh, cams I noticed that the debates do be with majority of the time is like, uh, General Johanna's people. Oh, yeah, the General, like, like yeah, that. like, Johanna, the motherfucker who's doing interviews with the Southern Poverty Law Center, which is set up by the so-called Jew. You know what I'm saying? Down with the ACLU. <laughs> Fucking faggots. Hey, what you got? What you got that Deuteronomy? What you want? <coughs> what you back here? Deuteronomy 22. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bring that out. Well, what you want? Well, down to the end where it talks about the rape. We're just going to prove that the Bible says you can snatch a woman up. Now, we ain't telling nobody to go and rape nobody. The Bible's saying that. It says, the Bible clearly says, if you find a woman that's out in the field, if you take her and you lay hold on her, that you have, as long as she's a virgin, I mean, you gotta pay her father 50 seconds of silver. You committed no sin. But then you gotta stay with that woman for the rest of your life. All right, read that. Let me start it off. 13. If a man take a wife and go in unto her and, and pay her and give occasion speech against her and bring up an evil name upon her and say, I took this woman and when I came to her, I found her not a maid. Then shall the father of the damsel and her mother take and bring forth the uh, tokens of the damsel's virginity unto the elders of the city and the gate. And the damsel's father shall say unto the elder, I gave my daughter unto this man's wife and he hated her. And lo, he hath given occasion of speech against her saying, I found no, not thy daughter a maid and yet these are the tokens of my daughter's virginity, and they shall spread the cloth before the elders of the city. And the elders of that city shall take the man and chastise him, and they shall immerse him in an hundred shekels of silver and give them unto the father of Jephthah, because he hath brought up an evil name upon the virgin of Israel, and she shall be his wife. He may not put her away in all his days. Right, that's Just a like big what payment. You, say you can't even leave that woman after you hit her. Yeah, you can't. You can't do that, man. And like the Lord said in uh, Matthew, what's that, Matthew uh, 19? When a man lays with a woman, y'all, spirit becomes one. You gotta stay with her your whole life. And that don't happen in this fucking society. A I mean, you woman. Could, you could do away with her if she commits adultery. Only if she commits adultery, right. Do that bitch. <laughs> you do it like OJ all day. Now don't don't be killing bitches. <laughs> They'll go straight to jail. Do not respect her. But if this thing be true, and the tokens of virginity be not found for the damsel, then they shall bring out the damsel to the door of the father's house, and the men of the city, and the men of her city, shall stone her with stones that Damn. she died. Bitches get stoned to death because she had wrought folly in Israel to play the whore in her father's house so so shalt thou put a w evil away from among you that's the bible that's the bible oh that's my it. that sounds brutal your girl say can you respect me that's barbaric oh yeah according to the bible that woman who asked for respect <laughs> is supposed to get buried in a pile of stones can you respect me <laughs> walking out here with that tight shit that bitch was thick man watch me <laughs> how are you supposed to not look at that right right i mean damn i mean that it's hard not to because we're not gay we're not homosexual <laughs> so when you see when we're out here trying to teach the bible it's hard to concentrate you see a half naked women walking around mm -hmm. camel toe all exposed camel yeah. toe i mean you can see everything that, that was naked that's naked. Yeah. You that's know, we got that skin tight shit yeah. on, man. That's, that might as well be naked. Yeah. It, it is naked. Cause you can her see, whole physique. You yeah. can see the dimples on her butt. You know, you can see everything. Man, that shit was looking delicious. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you respect me? Like, ain't bitching over to respect yourself. <laughs> oh, okay, if we keep going, we'll see some respect. <laughs> right, right. Well, he showed you some respect right there. If a man be found lying with a woman married to a husband, then they shall both of them die. Both the man 
that lay with the woman and the woman, so shalt thou put evil away evil from Israel. Yeah, because an uh, adulterer and adulterers deserve to be put to death. Like, that's why we said what O.J. Simpson did was a beautiful thing. When he killed that bitch, that was a good thing. It was a, I ain't gonna say that. If a damsel that is a virgin be betrothed unto an husband, and a man find her in the city and lie with her, then ye shall bring them both out unto the gate of that city, and ye shall stone them with stones that they die. That's a brutal death, too, get brutal. stoned to death. You get hit with goddamn stones. Hit with bricks just coming from every direction. God, every damn. direction. <laughs> Could you imagine that bam, 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 bam. I don't want to imagine that. No, I can't imagine that. Uh -uh. Ooh-wee. Uh -uh. That's a slow death too, man. And, nah, and that's and so one stone hit you, knock you out. Another yeah, stone yeah. hit you, wake you back up. But, right. but people you know, be like, oh, that's barbaric. Yeah. You goddamn right that's damn barbaric. Right. What the fuck you think it's supposed <laughs> that's right. to be? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you commit adultery. How evil is that? That that's barbaric. That that's evil. It looks like yeah, that, yeah, so barbaric. That is exactly barbaric. I mean, but now <laughs> though, we're supposed to teach forgiveness. We ain't here putting people to death, obviously. That's people to say try always say that's the old testament. That's the old testament. That's why we out here telling these people to stop doing that shit they doing, man. You ain't see us stoning nobody. Have you ever stoned anybody to death? I never stoned nobody to death. Not the devil, but I hit somebody with a fucking rock before. <laughs> <laughs> Smack Jimbo in the face with the cinder block. Oh yeah? <laughs> sure, some motherfuckers, man. Oof. That's why I'm saying, well, you're supposed to teach people to repent. You ain't supposed to go actually kill people. Oh, let's keep going. Not yet, at least. All oh, the time is coming <laughs> when the Lord will unleash the fury and the wrath. That's right. What's it's that, coming. Uh, and it's coming quickly. Sin for fishers. All right. Sin for fishers. Then sin, the Lord said. Jeremiah 16, 16. Yeah, Jeremiah 16. The Lord said, right now we're fishing, and soon we're going to be hunting. So we, it's still fishing season. It ain't yeah. it ain't hunting season yet. When we're fishing, we ain't looking for no bitches to respect. Oh no, we looking for. Will you respect me? <laughs> yeah, we ain't looking for women to start teaching with us. <laughs> the damsel, because she cried not, being in the city, and the man, because he hath humbled his daughter's wife, his neighbor's wife, so thou shalt put away evil from among you. But if a man find a betrothed damsel in the field, and the man force her and lie with her, then the man only that lie with her shall die. But unto the damsel thou shalt not do nothing. Right, because you raped a married woman. You can't be raping and having nothing. Right, you can't have sex with a woman who's already married. That's wicked and evil. You deserve death. We wish death upon you. That's one of the worst crimes possible is adultery. That's right up there with murder. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You know, that's up there with that. That's above that faggot shit, you know? Yeah. That's like, you know, that's up there with that faggot that's a, shit. That's man. a sin unto death. Woo. Just like with that in the book of John, uh, 1 John, it says, if you have a someone that sin is sin unto death, you are not to pray for them. That's a hell of a feeling to have, man, I bet, man. You walk in, your wife fucking somebody, man. You walk in on them. What you supposed man. to do when Ooh. you see some? Now, then you are purely justified Ooh. to take care of business. Ooh. You can't, because even in this country, if you Ooh. catch someone in the act Ooh. of adultery, they don't charge you with food murder. They give you like manslaughter, which Ooh. is still Ooh. wicked and Ooh. evil. Because you get going to an uncontrolled rage. Right. You can't control yourself in the situation. That's like why the scripture says what it says. Oh, let's keep going before this camera dies. We'll get it all out. Going to the damsel, thou shalt do nothing. There is a damsel. But if a man find a Detroit damsel in the field, and he may force her and lie with her, then the man okay. But unto the damsel, thou shalt do nothing. There is, a, there is in the damsel no sin worthy of death, for as when a man rather against his neighbor and slayeth him, even so is this matter. For he found, for he found her in the field, and the betrothed damsel cried, and there was none to save her. If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, that is a virgin, a young woman, which is not betrothed, that means she is she is fair game. And lie and lay hold on her and lie with her, 
and they be found. Y'all wanna hear the rules on virgins? Then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's father 50 shekels of silver, and she shall be his wife. She shall be, this one of my, so how could you have a problem with this, man? How can anybody in their right state of mind that loves pussy have a problem with this scripture? Uh -huh. That's like some Conan the Barbarian shit. You just yeah. pick a bitch up, throw on your shoulder. Oh, I'm taking you home with me, baby. You know what I'm saying? For real. I'm taking you right straight to the crib. Shit. <laughs> you know, I got some shekels. Give your daddy some shekels. Shit. Get this ass. <laughs> That's a beautiful. That's a beautiful scripture, man. Read it. I remember the first time I heard this. I couldn't believe my ears. I was like, yeah, "Does the, yeah, does the yeah. Bible really say that?" Yeah. Well, that was a that was a shock right there. I heard that. I was like, "Ooh, man! I don't know the Most High is righteous indeed." Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's one of the scriptures that just. See, so the Bible is a manly book. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But that dude, Gorilla Hebrew, the Lord is a man of war, not you. The Lord is with this kind of type of violent act. You would think every man will welcome this scripture with open arms, man. Every man. Every man. But the majority of most men ain't with it. Then the man... And then they try to play on your emotions. That's it. They try to get followers to their side. Like, oh, these guys are rapists. Rapists, yeah. They're rapists. Mm -hmm. Don't go follow them. They're pedophiles and rapists. That's from being all emotional and shit. Playing on your emotions all the time. That movie, um, I think it was I think it's Snatch. Where they actually in the movie actually break down the true definition of rape. They actually put it in the movie. I think it's, it's a uh, snatch. Brad Pitt's in it. I ain't seen that in years. I don't even watch movies hard anymore. They I, actually I think put, I might have that at the house too. I think yeah. they, they used to bring shit up on the screen, letters and shit, didn't it? Is that what it was? I don't know. It's been years. Uh, he was a he played an Irish guy. You're looking for Brad respect. Pitt. Yeah, of course you are. Dumbass. Oh yeah. Y'all want to respect, respect y'all women? Women. First, they gotta respect they damn self. They don't know how to do that. They don't know how to do that. Let me read this again, though. This is a, a, a 22 and 18, 28. If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, which is not betrothed. It's not betrothed, means she's fair game. It means she haven't been laid with. Nobody stuck their penis right, in her. Right, she's a emperor. virgin. Emperor. And her cherry has not yet been popped. Yeah, that coochie smelling right. Which has to be like 12 years old nowadays. Yeah. 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 Well, these days even younger than that. Well, I mean, yeah, because you can't just go snatch up little girls. Yet the Bible says as long as a woman is past the flower of her age, she's ready to have children. 